It's a very dreary day. We've got rain here in the southern mountains of Appalachia. We really need it though, so I'm, I'm very thankful for the rain. But on the inside, it's a very exciting, cozy day here in our house. We're gonna decorate our tree today. We're so excited about it. It's one of the things we look forward to each year. I've gotta be a little while before we get to that because I've gotta pull all this decorations out from under my bed and from in the basement and figure out which ones we're gonna use this year. So but before we get started with that, because that's gonna take a while, I'm gonna go ahead and make us some eggnog. Now, I was never someone that liked eggnog because I never tasted eggnog, truth be told, until Corey started telling me that she liked it. She was probably a young teenager. I don't even know where she tasted it. Maybe at Nana's house, Nana and Papa's, I'm not sure. But once she tasted it, every year at Christmas, she would ask me to, to buy her. You know, she might be shopping with me at the grocery store, and she'd ask me to buy her a, a little quart of eggnog, and she would drink it. And that's the first time I tasted it. And truth be told, I thought it tasted kind of like milk with paint thinner. I did not think it tasted good at all, so Corey mostly drunk that quart each Christmas by herself. But finally one year, uh, I keep tapping my phone because I'm going to read to you on it. One year, let's look back and see if we can see when it was. 2012, back in 2012, she decided, we decided we'd try to make our own, and I thought, well, that'd be a lot, lot better anyway. It won't taste like that paint thinner. And so me and Corey, we looked online, we found this recipe and that recipe, and then we kind of tweaked it a little bit, and this is what we, how we made it, and this is how I'm gonna make it today. So we used four egg yolks, and we're really using four eggs, but we separated the yolks from the whites, one third cup of sugar, two cups of milk, one cup of heavy cream, and one half teaspoon of nutmeg, and one teaspoon of vanilla. So Corey's helped me since she's here with us today. Uh, Austin's at work. One of our recent videos, uh, someone asked, said, well, why don't Austin, why is Austin never with you? Well, Austin still works. He works, you know, a public job, as we would say, and we're so blessed, me and Corey and Katie and Matt, to get to be home together, but Austin's still at work. So he's at work today, but once he gets off, he's going he's gonna to come eat supper with us and, and admire our beautiful tree. So that'll be nice. He can have some, some of the eggnog then. But, so Corey helped me get all this situated. We've got our eggs separated. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and read you the recipe. It says, separate the egg yolks from the whites, beat the egg yolks well, reserve the whites in the fridge for later. We're just gonna put them in the refrigerator. Add sugar to the eggs, mix to light and creamy. Heat milk, cream, nutmeg, and vanilla. Bring mixture to a boil, then remove it from heat. Add a little of the hot mixture into the eggs and sugar, and then stir it well and then gradually add that back to the milk. You're just doing that so that your eggs don't curdle or you don't turn into scrambled eggs. And then you're gonna, once you add it back in there, you'll need to stir it constantly. So the recipes back then that we found online said you should, you know, if you're worried about the safety of the eggs, you should heat the mixture until it's at 160 on a, like a thermometer. But it was pretty much that temperature every time by the time we do it, maybe we have ours too hot. So we just left it a minute or two and it, that's what we usually do. And then you can transfer it to a, a pitcher or a bowl or whatever you'd like and put it in a refrigerator and let it chill if you'd like to drink it cold. Um, and after that, when you're ready to serve it, then you get those egg whites back out and you beat them until they reach like a stiff peak, you know, beat them till they turn white and beautiful. And then you're gonna uh, mix that into that chilled mixture and that makes it thick, thick and creamy. And then if you want to, when you serve it, then you'll be ready to serve it. You can put some cinnamon, you could put some more nutmeg or whatever, just dust it on the top. Makes it really, really pretty. After we made them, made it that year back in 2012, I was like, oh, now I see why, why Corey likes it. I just never cared for the kind that come from the store. Give me a pot that we can put all this in. What about I guess the rest of the tea is to be sold.
Now that it's come to a boil, we're just gonna set it off. Now that we've got the milk and heavy cream heated, I'm gonna put a little bit out into my, into my egg mixture. Egg and sugar really is all it is, and stir it up. I should have put a little bit more than that. back in. Then I'm going to pour it into one of my jars and let it put it in the refrigerator so that it can cool. But now that I think about it, I'm not going to use this one. A lot of people ask me about this one. This was Matt's great-grandmother's. Miss Cindy told me that she re she didn't know what come in it, but she remembered her grandmother using it for milk. It's what she put her milk in, some of it when she milked the cows. So I don't want nothing to happen to it. I think I'll just use one of my ball ones. This is the part. I'll probably make a mess. Maybe not, we'll see. a miracle. That's it. Now I'm going to clean up my mess and then I'm going to get to decorating the tree. Well, in my search for ornaments, of course, I'm going to find other stuff. These are the stockings. We have two sets, but we swap them out. One year I use Christmas red and Christmas green and Christmas white. And then the next year I use gold and like a maroon and a hunter green. That's how much I love Christmas. I have two sets of ornaments and all of our ornaments are most, I mean, almost all of them. Some of them are store bought, but they're all like sentimental. One's Corey made, Katie made, Granny made, I made. Um, just ones like that that really are meaningful to us. So I'm gonna go ahead and get, this is be the stockings we're using this year. Miss Cindy bought these two for Corey and Katie when they were just little bitty babies and we've been using them ever since. Then here's some that match them good that Granny made. Ain't they pretty? I love this part at the top. So that's mine and Matt's. We just have to find, we had one last year for Austin so we'll have to make sure we find it. We might have, we might have used the one that I have for Austin. But we'll find it. When I put stuff up after Christmas, I'm really bad to just stick here and stick there. And then every year I have to go all the way through it and find out everything I want. But we want those two for sure. So we're looking for red and white ones. Doesn't look like I'm going to do very good in this pack here. Here's some angels, though, that Granny made. Isn't that pretty angel? There's a pretty angel. This is a nice ornament that someone made us and sent. It looks like Matt. I think that's who it's supposed to look like. I think we'll use that one. I totally forgot about these. I hung these up last year. This was kind of when I first started thinking about showcasing old photos during the holidays. And these were ones Granny had took years ago. There's my nephews, my niece. Doesn't she look like me? There's Miss Cindy. Beautiful. Corey. My little Corey, my sister-in-law, me, Matt. Looks like Matt's come off. Katie's come off. There's Pap. There's Granny. <laughs> Paul. And my brother, Steve. So I'm going to lay those out. And we're, I don't know. I think I had them hung in the dining room last year. I guess that's what I'll do again this year. Isn't that cute? Now that I'm going through it, Corey, Corey's helping me. I'm thinking like of our greening of Christmas, should we set out stuff that we might use for that? Yeah. We're gonna have stuff scattered everywhere, but we'll lay that one out. Probably should lay some hangers out. So here's a stock and we may use this one for Austin. Last year, would last year have been the first Christmas Austin was here? Yes, mm -hmm. it was the first Christmas. So I probably used a gold one, the gold one with him. So I'm gonna pull this one out for Austin. Granny made it too. 
I've had it for ages. It's pretty. So I'm going to take these ornaments, but I guess that's all I'm going to take from this. And I'm going to have to keep digging. Jackpot in here. So here's some beautiful white snowflakes that Granny's made. We'll get all of those. There's lots of them. Little bells. This is my was my raggedy Ann and Andy clock I had when I was little. And it when it would go off, it would actually talk and it would say, Time to get up, Andy. <laughs> when it would the alarm would go off. I don't think it works anymore though. But I wish I could have somebody fix it. Now your daddy might be able to take it apart and fix mm -hmm. it if we could figure out how to maybe there's screws in there. Maybe I'll leave it out and see if Matt can fix it. So we'll use these this year. They could go either way, gold or red and white. They're just styrofoam and like paper mache or collage over it. What do you call that? What am I trying to say? Decapodge. Decapodge. There you go, Corey. Anyway, Granny gave me them when me and Matt was first married. There's a whole set of them. I really love them. A lot of subscribers have sent us ornaments so i've already some of those i already put in there were from them and here's two more we'll put those out they're really beautiful here's one of my favorites that's Corey. look at her pigtails it's so cute it's funny this a rock in here yeah there's rocks in every part of our house thanks to your sister that little angel's come apart that she'd have to be have to be glued back together if we used her I think these like this come on some kind of candy or something, did they, Corey? Baby bottle pops or something. Seems Corey and Teddy used to like love that. baby bottle pops. I don't know. So this box has more. It looks like a lot of red and white and green. This is one. These stars Granny made me. Stars are my favorite shape, so I love that. And then Granny made these. I think they're really pretty little ornaments. There's a whole set of little angels like this that Granny made. You see the back and see they're holding a holding a candle there. Of course, we don't light the candles. And she made me bells. I have the bells in the red, white, and green, and then also in the like burgundy, hunter green, and beige. I love those bells. When I was little, of course, Granny and Pap had these great old big lights like this, and this was a string strand that never worked. Uh, had tore up over the years and granny give them to me. And so I made ornaments out of them. That one's kind of the paint's coming off that one, but that one still looks pretty good. There's another sweet one from school of Katie. I'm so glad the teachers at March Creek school made all the ornaments. They're just my favorites. So we found some more that wonderful subscribers sent us last year. Can't wait to use them. Also found another one that Corey and Katie made. I don't know who it doesn't say which one of them made that. It looks like it's made out of a milk milk jug, probably. Some more that Granny made. She's stuffed and sewed up. And Granny made these. They're kind of really weird looking. They're like I call them uh, sci-fi angels, but they're pretty. So this is macrame thread, which is much thicker and coarser than crochet thread. And then she's brushed it out. And then you can see their little, uh, or you could hang them up. And then the bow is their wings. So I think they're lovely, even though they're kind of odd. Well, maybe we found enough ornaments. This tree is huge. It's a big tree. It's beautiful. And we've never decorated a tree like this, so it's going to be interesting since it's a cypress and we've never had it. I guess the ones we normally have are spruce. Or pine. Pine, yeah, pine or spruce. A lot of people say, well, why don't you just go outside and um, get a white pine off your bank? And we could do that, but white pines are not good for ornaments. I wonder if, if I always think if you could like like put a bunch of white pines together, like tie them together, <laughs> you, might you know, get then you might, but their limbs are so floppy. Yeah. If you're going to use as many ornaments as we like to use, they don't really, they're not really conducive to that. But when I was growing up, white pines is, is one of the ones that Granny and Pap usually had. We'd go around here in Wilson Holler and find one and cut it. 
uh, when we lived at Sherlock's, we had more of the cedar bush, which is like this. It reminds me, reminds me of this one. So it's going to be interesting to see how it goes. Katie's got to go to the post office, mail, mail out some of her wonderful Stamy Creek creations, and then she'll be back to help us. And we're going to get Matt to see if he can help us with the lights. That's the first. And that's the thing I'm not good at. That's the hardest part. Yeah. But I usually don't care. I'm not like really picky once you put the lights on and put all the ornaments on. Every year we say it's the prettiest tree. And then next year we say the same thing. It's the prettiest tree. <laughs> Okay, we got the lights on me and Matt. One string of lights we've had forever has like, comes with a little, um, just a little box that you can push the buttons whether you want them to go just stay on or go really fast or fade in and fade out. So we've used that string forever. And, and then the other string was one that we got last year for the first time. I just thought it looked like it might be easier and we did like it. And so we're using it again this year is you put it, it, all the lights are like in a string around a little circular, what do you call that, Matt? Doodad. Circular doodad, Matt says, that goes down over the tree and then the lights just come down from it, cascade down. So we used it for the first time last year and liked it. So we're using it again this year. When Corey and Katie were little, little, really little, like maybe a year or two years old, when they first, you know, the first began to realize what Christmas trees were, Granny had one with that, like I was talking about the little box that you could change all the colors, but I mean, change the way the lights, the intensity, and if they faded in and out and all that. But it also had one little uh, choice that you could choose that played music. And so she would put it on music for Corey and Katie. And for the longest time after that, they thought all Christmas trees played music. And so if it didn't play music, they were really confused by that. So now that we've got the lights on, we're going to wait a few minutes and see if Katie will hurry back from the post office. And then we'll be, we'll be ready to decorate. Katie got back from the post office and all of it sitting the camera. And we even had a nice surprise. Austin got off work early, so he's here too. And so, I tailgated him all the way home. <laughs> Katie tailgated him all the way home. So, Merry Christmas to you. Uh, Matt's making us all some good to eat hamburgers, deer burgers, and French fries. And Corey and Katie and me are going to tackle decorating the tree now. Crinkle fries. Matt usually helps us get started, and then he leaves the decorating to us, and then he does the fine and, uh, finish and touch, I guess yeah, you would fine say. Tuning. Fine tuning and the finish and touch. So let's go. Okay, let's go. Okay, we think we're through. We think. We may do some more adjusting, but we think we've got it covered. We stopped and had wonderful supper that Matt made us. It was really good. Deer burgers and fries and what else? Pickles. Macaroni. Macaroni. Corey had macaroni. Corey had to have macaroni. And um, Matt's went to get the top, what we use for the treetop. And I'm going to let him and Corey handle that. And I'm going to go <laughs> whip up our egg whites, me and Katie are, for our eggnog. Someone's getting a phone call. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. And Austin's sitting in the back. Yeah. Say, hey, that, Austin. that was Austin's uh -oh. phone. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's actually Corey's phone. It was. Oh, was oh, it? Oh, oh. Austin just had to silence it for One you. One of my many alarms. So, it was an alarm, not a phone call. Yeah. What was you alarming yourself for? The Armageddon to take my vitamins. Oh. <laughs> to get prepared <laughs> for the Normaneddon. Yeah. I don't okay. know. I said, you know, my problem is I set alarms and I won't name them. I just tell myself, okay, remember when this alarm goes off and then it goes off and I'm like, what does this even mean? And it was always <laughs> something like, go to the post office or email this person back or buy supplies. And I just think that I'll remember. And you don't remember what they are. No. You go ahead and start naming them. I should just take the extra effort to type in like one thing, supplies, <laughs> post office. So we think it's basically done except for the topping and then one other ornament that I'm going to put on last. Where is it? It's in my pocket. I know what it is. <laughs> it's in my pocket. It's in my pocket. You threw me for one second. Bet yeah, you I, I know what, what it, it is, too. You probably do. And also, for our people who watch our channel, 
I said that I would show my favorite Christmas yes, ornament. Yes, we're going to do that. If enough, if enough people commented, and a whole bunch of people commented and said, I want to see the ornament, so I'm going to show you. I almost consider putting it on this tree, but I guess I'll save it and put it on the tree in my room. So we'll show you that later. Okay, here's my hat. He's ready to go. Olive is very interested well, in cool. the deer horns. Well, yeah. She's interested in deer in general. Yeah, yes. anything she's with deer she's obsessed interested with deer. in. So we've been doing the deer horn topper for quite a few years now. I think it started out as a joke and dad just did it well, and thought it would be funny but then mom actually liked it. It's the year I broke the top out of the tree. Oh yeah, that's true. Katie broke out the top one year. It was, it was pretty bad. It was hideous and we were trying to hide it. And then dad just did that as a joke with him. But mom actually it. liked it, which I like it too. We, we got that tree off the... We went in the forerunner to get that tree, and I thought I had my side better, and I let it roll off. And when it rolled off the car, the top just totally broke down. Yeah. I felt but, uh, bad about it. It's okay. I was going to cry. It's horrible. <laughs> but out of that misery came my new tradition. Yeah, and I think that the horns look nice. I think it's cool. It's something different, you know. It is. It's something different, and it's cool because you can use a different set of horns every year if you want. Olive is still quite interested. I think this may be our biggest tree, if not one of the biggest trees that we've ever had. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, I think it's it's pretty big. And it was funny when we were looking at all of them, they didn't seem that big, honestly, but you just, I guess, forget until you get it in the house and then you realize, well, there is a ceiling, so there is a limit. What are you doing in there, Mom? Surprise. <laughs> She's making all kinds of racket, y'all. Mom is making a lot of noise in there. A surprise, don't worry. Mom said she's making a surprise, not to worry. Call the fire department, get them on standby. <laughs> Call the fire department. Struggling just a little bit. How come? Because I'm old Aww. and I can't see. Or it's just because that's like a, it looks like a really complicated task. <laughs> Y'all, what is going <laughs> on in there? Mama is taking the house apart. I've almost got the eggnog ready to bring in for us all to enjoy, but I gotta put one very special ornament. This ornament goes on our tree every year, no matter what color scheme I'm using, and it's a spark plug. So you may be thinking, that's really crazy, Tipper. Why are you doing that? But when Matt and I were first married and first moved into our house, it was probably the very first Christmas, he thought he would be silly and he would put this old spark plug. He put you know didn't even find nothing nice to tie it with that's just an old wire and he would put it on the tree and then when I noticed it I, he was like a joke you know I would think it was funny but the jokes on him because every year since then I've made sure it was on the tree it was just such a special moment in our life in our marriage so now I just have to find the perfect place to put it that looks really nice right there and for all of you that are familiar with the story of me trying to sell Matt's truck before we were married, that spark plug came out of that truck, that old brown truck. And if you're not familiar with that great story, I'll link to the video where you can hear it. Okay. Oh, I forgot to look at the tree. Oh, it looks great. Isn't that nice? It looks perfect. Thanks, Dad. I've got some eggnog for everyone. Look Come at get the it. little cars. That's what I was doing was I was pulling out these cups. This is a set of dishes that Miss Cindy got me and Matt when we were first married for Christmas. And I don't have a place where I can, oh, oh, I love, oh, I where I can them, store them all the time. So I have to drag them out. And I don't always drag them out at Christmas. But this year I knew ahead of time I was going to because of Miss Cindy. So I already got these. Here you go. Thank you. I'm coming, Mama. Or okay. I'll let you deliver it to me. Careful, I want yeah, the dog trip that out. Do you, you like, like it, Corey? It? I haven't even tasted it. You gotta taste it. <laughs> You're the one that wanted it. Corey's the one that wanted Corey, it. Corey, yeah, you are the one that was all about it. We're all gonna have uh, eggnog mustaches. Mm. Like that. <laughs> Dad! I actually really love eggnog. Now, how are you gonna get that I could drink so that. much that I'd get sick. Mm. Sometimes I, in years I past, love I have drank. 
just yeah. gonna, gonna hurt your belly if you do that. Mm. Well, this little cup shouldn't hurt your belly. I hope not. It wouldn't have, but it's just the mix with this of all this other food. It's gonna be okay though. <laughs> well, it's always a joy to have the Christmas tree up and be able to sit and look at it every day and enjoy it being in our house. Mm -hmm. When I was growing up, Granny and Pat most of the time just went out like I've told you about and got a pine tree or a cedar bush or whatever. But Matt, when he was growing up, it's mostly just him and Papa Tony. And what would you do? You can tell what y'all would do. We had a we had a fake tree for a number of years. We didn't always do that, but we had a for a while we had a fake tree because on Christmas Day, uh, where we hunt deer hunted, deer season opened back up the day after Christmas. So we'd do all of our Christmas stuff, and then we was gonna get, leave either that evening. I think it, yeah, it was that evening. So instead of having to undecorate the tree, or we didn't want to leave it up, so we just unplugged it, left it decorated, and put a great big trash bag over top of it. <laughs> carried it to the attic, and we were done. Then we loaded up and took off and went hunting for a week. And then, the and then next, next year, all we had to do is get the bag off the tree and set it in the living room and plug it in. Yeah. So funny. <laughs> I guess that well, worked though. Kind of a bachelor pad thing. It's a uh, utilitarian. Yeah. We didn't care about decorating it. We just wanted to get it over so we could go hunting. Wow. That is so funny. What color? Was it like a green? Or was it one of them white? No, it was green. Best I can remember. That's been 40 years ago. Mm -hmm. Over 40 years ago, probably. That's funny. Mm -hmm. As long as I knew Miss Cindy, she never put up a tree. You no. remember putting up one? No. no. She never did. But she took great joy in our <clears throat> tree. Mm -hmm. So this year, of course, I'm thinking if she was, you know, normally in any other year, like tomorrow, she'd come over and see our tree and she would just ooh and ah over yeah, it and talk about it. talk about how beautiful it was. Yeah. So seems really special to have her have her cups here that she and that was the reason she bought them for me and Matt so many years ago because she knew after uh, Matt and I were married she seen how I decorated our house and how crazy I was about Christmas so she bought us these one year for Christmas and mm -hmm. they are really beautiful yep. really beautiful whole set of dishes and and bowls and everything really really nice and really meaningful this year for sure to use them right I think she'd be really happy that we're using them and that we're all together as a family, even though she's not here. But she'd be, I'm going to start oh, crying. Mama, no. But she'd be especially happy to know there's going to be two more. I know. Yeah, very happy. We thank you for coming along with us to decorate our tree this year. And we're always happy when you drop by to help us celebrate Appalachia. Miss Cindy never really, in my lifetime, oh Lord, <laughs> okay, yeah. let me start. Yeah. Since I've been away, I've been alive. Then she come along, she was born, and Don't then we did things differently. Hey. <laughs> I've been alive since, I've been alive since yesterday alive. And when I wasn't alive, I was not born yet. Okay. Oh, like, <laughs> It means that I am we gotta stop. Okay, let me start over. Yeah, but other people who haven't been Katie. born yet aren't alive. And some just laughing. Okay, 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 so okay, okay, now let me start over. Gosh. Y'all gonna have to do better than this. <laughs> oh, get out of here. Get out of okay, here. Okay, ready? Go Get. Olive, go. Katie, call Olive. Olive, come here. One little pop, pop. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh. Shh. Okay. We gotta do this course. You can go home. We can do it.